You're watching Duct Tape and Popsicle Sticks with Mike and Maria Kaiser. Because sometimes you feel like your business is being held together by duct tape and popsicle sticks. On this show, you're not going to hear the latest business fad. You're going to get useful information that you can apply to your own business right now. Hello and thanks for watching another clever episode of Duct Tape and Popsicle Sticks. I'm Mike Kaiser along with ferret racing enthusiast Maria Kaiser. How are you? You love those smelly oh, little yeah, things. I yeah, love <laughs> I love them. We had one in our house once, folks. So yeah, that's a different story. Anyway. Anyway. Thank you, everyone, for tagging along. Once. Once. <laughs> one. One ferret, one time. Yes, and it's lucky it got out alive. <laughs> so, but we'll do a documentary about that I'm one sure day. I'm sure people would love that. <laughs> they are ferret documentary. In the meantime, it's great that you're hanging out watching duct tape and popsicle sticks. Everything you need to know is in the notes below, uh, how to get to our website, our podcasts, our other videos, all that good stuff. But please, if you're enjoying the videos, just share them, like them, send them on, comment on them. If you hate them, comment on them twice so, and share them even more about how terrible they are. So we would really like ban that. Ban them. That's right. <laughs> ban them. Exactly. <laughs> you know, but um, there's, there's one thing I think that business owners sometimes forget. In fact, I, I mean, I'll, I'll just speak for myself in sometimes forgetting that we, we get wrapped up in the day-to-day -day fires of, mm -hmm. of running our business. We're dealing with hassles. We're dealing with delays. We're dealing with whatever frustrations we're dealing with. We want sometimes our marketing tactics to, to, to work like magic, yeah, yeah. But, they, but they just don't. Yeah. Where I'm going is I think sometimes we forget that truly, I would say the best or close to the best form of marketing is being a partner to your clients that they can't live without. Mm -hmm. Becoming an invaluable partner to your clients. But that being, that being said, what are, what are ways to do that? Well, before we go there, I want to also state that doesn't mean you have to be a slave to your clients Correct. and work for free. It right. means that you have to be invaluable to them that they don't mind paying the fee that you're charging. Yeah. So that, that's, that's a that's great key. distinction. But you know how do you do that? Well get to know your clients. Get to know them in a way that serves the problem that you solve for them or how you can maybe help them solve other problems and making recommendations on other things if that is their relationship with you. Um, be committed to their success. You know, yeah. I um, I was listening to someone yesterday complain about their bank, and their bank just changed, and they're very unhappy with the, the service they're getting now. Okay. And they had been making the same mistake over and over and over again, and um, and she was just and they took care of it. She says, but it took them so long. Hmm. And they didn't even say they were sorry for my trouble. Okay. And, you know, simply just saying, I'm sorry that we've caused all this problem. Here's how we're fixing Here's it. Here's how we're fixing it. Yeah. Really would have been all she needed, but they didn't do that for her. So, you know, sometimes it's that small little thing that just acknowledge who you're working with and acknowledge yeah. that they are coming to you for a reason and take care of them. Exactly. Yeah. Take care of them. Be an, be an expert mm -hmm. at what you're doing. Like I would say, be the only resource they need right. for your field right. ever. Right. Be, be the answer to their question. Yeah. But that's a really important distinction you brought up, though, is that doesn't mean the customer is always right, right, as they say, or be, be a slave to your customer. But be the best in, in your field, in your industry, be the absolute right. best resource that they could ever have. Right. I mean, you don't have to strive to make all of your customers happy all the time because that's just never going to happen. You'll always <laughs> have someone that no matter how hard you try, they'll never be happy with what yeah. you do. But if you can um, look at yourself in the mirror at the end of the day and say, I did my very best for my client, then uh, you're probably on the right track. Great way to end it, Ms. Maria. Right. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Thanks a million for hanging out with us. We hope you got one or two good tidbits to take away to apply to your own business. In the meantime, you've been watching Duct Tape and Popsicle Sticks, where we help make your business better just a few minutes at a time. Ciao for now. You're watching Duct Tape and Popsicle Sticks with Mike and Maria Kaiser.